All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechai Kodash, the honest high elders and apostles of great millstone that do her well, the citations and blessings to you, I can just push his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, Your Bank Account Can't Save You. All right, man? Because I've just seen this, uh, this little post or whatever, man, from, uh, what's his name, Young Thug. All right, he said that he save your money because it's going to save you. You know, man? Hey, hey, hey. I got what he was saying, man. All right, he's trying to say, like, you know, save some money and all this other BS, man. All right, but hey, that's not gonna save you, man. That's not gonna save you at the end of the day, man. All right, your riches, your 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 money, all right, your saved up uh, riches, man, from Esau Edom, man. It's not gonna save you, man. All right, at the end of the day, man, hey, Esau Edom is gonna bring in his new form of currency, man. All right, you trust in that, man. All right, your Habashim Al is gonna destroy you, man. All right, the Lord has plagues, he has judgments to come, man. All right, trusting in your riches, man. All right, that's not hey, that, that's not profitable, man. All right, only righteousness is going to deliver you, man. All right, righteousness and faith in Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. All right, not money, not how famous you are in this world, man. All right, the Lord is against this world, man. All right, so you got to trust in him, man. You got to trust in his righteousness, man. All right, so any further ado, I'm jump to it. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. It says, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. All right, man. So righteousness, man. All right, trusting in the Lord, man. All right, forsaking this world, man. All right, leaning towards the commandments of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, fearing in his commandments, man. All right, that's what's going to deliver you, man. All right, not riches, man. All right, being famous in this world, man, selling your soul to Esau, Edom, man. All right, because, hey, man, you you become famous, man. All right, it's a lot more to that, man. All right, you don't just, just, just become famous, man. Your face is everywhere on every billboard and all this other BS, man. All right, like Beyonce and Jay-Z, man. All right, you think that you, you, you can just do that on your own, man? All right, with no, with no consequences behind that? No, man. All right, you got to do blood blood sacrifices, man. All right, you got to, uh, you know, do all kind of rituals, man. All right, go to Bohemian Grove, man. Do all kind of things, man. All right, uh, hey, it's nothing but wickedness, man. All right, outside of your how about Shemal Shad, man. All right, and it's all going to bring you tonight, man. It's all going to uh, get you uh, plagues, man, judgments. All right, man, hey, you will not be able to escape it, man. Because, hey, man, when the Lord has your name, man, all right, he wants to bring you back to the heavens, man. Hey, that's, what, that's where you're going, man. All right, hey, the Lord is going to do it in a great fashion, man. All right. So this is Zephaniah 1 and 14. It says, the great day of Yahweh is near. It is near and hasten it greatly. All right, man. It's speedily. It's swift, man. It's coming, man. All right. Hey, it's right around the corner, man. All right. Hey, the pastor the heart dubbed this year. All right. The uh, hastening and the day of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. All right. Hey, that's what we're doing, man. All right. We're, we're hastening that day, man. All right, hey, hey, knowing that the Lord is about to come back, man, very soon, man. All right, hey, what man of person I used to be, man. All right, putting off this world, man, putting off this flesh, man. All right, putting off these false riches, man. All right, because, hey, man, hey, this, this is nothing but fake money anyways, man. You don't have silver. You don't have gold, man, you know. So, hey, man, trusting y'all about Shema Al Shah, forsake this world, man. All right, because that bank account is not going to help you in that day, man. All right. So, it says, even the voice of even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man, Shall shall cry there bitterly, all right, man. So hey man, all these tough guys, man. All right, all these all, all these bodybuilders, man. All the all these guys that does that think that they're mentally strong, man. All right, been through wars and all this other BS, man. They're gonna cry bitterly, man. All right, for the plays that they are to come, man. All right, cause hey, how about Shemal Shah knows everyone's fear, man. All right, he knows every hair that's on that's on everybody's body on this entire planet, man. All right, so hey, he knows your fears, man. He knows what what triggers you, man. You know. So, hey, man, all these tough guys, man, they're going to be brought tonight, man. All right? So, hey, man, riches, man, your, your, you know, what, what, what you have in this world, man, thing is going to protect you, man. It's not, man. All right? Nothing is going to protect you from your Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. Hey, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, hey, man, hey, this is why you must fear your Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, all right? So, hey, man, your riches, all right? Hey, hey, rich, hey, being rich and being poor, man, that all comes from Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. Healing and death comes from Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. All right, when someone gets uh, judgment, man, all right, when someone's born without limbs, man, all right, they're born uh, retarded, man, whatever it may be, man, it all comes from Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man, all right? So, hey, man, you must fear the Lord, man. Fear his commandments, man. Hey, do it, do as he says, man, all right? That's what's going to deliver you, man. All right, but hey, if you want to continue to tr trust, trust in your riches, man, and trust in this world, man, all right, hey, 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 more power to you, man, all right, and more death is going to come to you, man. So I'm going to go back to the Zephaniah. Zephaniah 1 and Zephaniah 1 and 15, it says, That day 
is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and, and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. All right, and that's why it says in Amos the fifth chapter, man. All right, what what end is it to you? All right, the desire the day of the Lord, man. All right, because hey, the day of the Lord is nothing but darkness, man. It's nothing but but calamities that's gonna come out come out of that, man. All right, because a hey, majority majority of these people, man. All right, they don't trust in Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. So the day of the Lord is gonna be nothing but destruction, man. All right, hey, hey, hey it's, it's gonna be salvation. Uh, sa yeah, salvation for the righteous, man. All right, the Lord is gonna save His elect, man. All right, but hey, as for the rest of this world, man. All right, the rest of these people, man, they're all gonna be annihilated, man. All right, they're gonna be destroyed by Yahweh Shemal Shah, and ultimately get that ultimate judgment, man. All right, with that ICBM nuclear missile, man, a lake of fire, the second death, man. So it says, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will distress, and I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against Yahweh. All right, man, these people ain't gonna know what the hell to do, man. All right, hey, it's, it's, it's gonna be all manner of death out here, man. You will not be able to escape it, man. All right, it's good to say blood is gonna be to the horse's bridle, man. All right, so it's gonna be a lot of a lot of calamities gonna is gonna be out here, man. A lot of plagues, man. All right, a lot of bodies are gonna hit the floor, man. So it says. And their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung, right? It says, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy, a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. All right, man? So, hey, man, all you people are going to be, hey, hey you're going to be destroyed, man. All right, quickly, man. All right, hey, you're going to suffer, man, before you die, man. All right, but hey, the Lord is going to bring that judgment quick upon you, man. All right, you will not be able to escape it, man. All right, your riches, man, your silver, your gold, man. All right, your little clout that you got inside this world, man. A lot of these people got Facebook clout, man. All right, they're so uh, hung up on that, man. All right, because they love this world so much, man. All right, they can't, they, 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 they can't, they can't think, you know, for, for one day, man. All right, to put off this world, man. All right, to put off folly, man. All right, because that's all they know, man. That's all they love, man. But sooner or later, it's going to come and bite them in the ass, man. All right, just like their riches and their gold, man. You know, they bank accounts, man. Hey, all, all this money is cankered, man. You know? Oh, hey, hey, sooner or later, man, this money is not going to mean anything, man. All right, Esau Enum is going to bring in his RFID chip, man. All right? And, hey, hey, you're going to have to choose, man. All right? Are you going to take that chip? All right? Or are you going to serve your Habash Shemal All right? And, hey, man, majority of these people, man, they're going to take the chip, man. All right? Because they, they trust in Egypt, man. So it says, uh, Ezekiel 7 and 19. It says, they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yahweh. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is a stomach block of their iniquity. All right, man? So the Lord is going to bring all these people to naught, man. All right? He's going to hey, he's gonna utterly destroy you, man. He's going to make you suffer, man. All right? Because hey, you want to trust in your silver and your gold, man. All right? It's not going to profit you in, in, in the day of the Lord, man. All right? Hey, the Lord, hey, it's already going to be hell going on on the, on, on the planet, man. All right, before the Lord, before the Lord even comes, man. All right, and starts to do what He's gonna do, man. All right, but hey, hey, you know I'm glad it's Luke 12, man, because hey, the Lord is already gonna be, hey, that fire is already gonna be kindling, man. And you already see it now, man. So how much more, man? How much more when 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 the, when the days are, are getting closer to our Lord coming to this reality, man? You know, hey, people are already looting, man. People are already dying on a high scale, man. All right, Car carjacking on a high scale, man. You know. Cram has shot through the roof, man. So this is Luke 12 and 49. It says, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? All right, man. So, hey, our Lord is coming to send that fire on the earth, man. All right. Hey, it says that, man. But, hey, it's already going to be kindling, man. It's already going to be burning, man. Hey, it is already here, man. You know. But, hey, it's, it's, it's much more death is going to come, man. Much more death, man. So this is Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, for behold, the day... It says, Behold, it says, For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right, man. So, hey, this is what the Lord is coming back to do, man. It says, For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. All right, man. So, hey, man, you think that you're riches, all right, just because you're rich, you're famous, man, you think that's going to help you, man? All right, no, the Lord only loves righteousness, man. All right, he only loves those that dwell with wisdom, man. All right, and if you're not dwelling with wisdom, man, if you're, dealing, if you're dwelling with this world, man, dwelling with wickedness, man, all right, which, hey, the Lord hates wickedness, man, all right, hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. 
All right, you're gonna, hey, hey, however the Lord is gonna do it, man. All right, you, hey, you're just gonna be destroyed, man. You're gonna perish, man. All right, but hey, we're only worried about the elect being saved, man. Those are the only ones that that, that are precious to you. How about Shemel man? All right, the rest of this world, man. All right, you, yeah, you, the Lord is gonna plead with you. All right, with uh, with His sword, man. All right, with His sword, with fire, man. All right, hey, and it's already gonna be kindling on earth, man. You know. So hey, the Lord is gonna, be, hey, he he's bringing that ultimate judgment upon those that don't trust in Him, man. So hey, this is uh. You no, know, I started one. This is Second Ezra fifteen and one. It says, "Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth." Said Yahweh. All right, man. And this is what's going on right now, man. All right, hey, 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 this is prophecy, man. All right, riches, man. Your riches is not gonna profit you in that day, man. All right, hey, chasing that bag, man. It's not gonna profit you in that day, man. All right, hey, 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 you just wasting your time, man. All right, <laughs> you truly wasting your time, man. All right, chasing that bag, man. Chasing your riches, man. All right, hey, it's it's all gonna bring you to death, man. All right. So it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. All right, man. This word is faithful and true. All right. So everything that I just read, man. All right. It's all going to come to pass, man. And everything that the prophets read is going to come to pass, man. All right. It will be fulfilled, man. All right. Because, hey, whatever the Lord says, man, it's going to happen, man. All right. I, I just did a video a couple of days ago, uh, um, you know, pretty much saying, what? Well, eh, eh, who cares if you don't believe, man? All right. Because it doesn't matter if you don't believe, man. All right. If you, if you say two plus two equals five, who gives a damn, man? All right, because it equals four. All right. So it says, fear not the incredulity against them, uh, against thee. Let the, so like it says, fear not the imagination against thee. Let the incredulity of them that trouble thee, uh, yeah, of them, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right, man. So, hey, we don't care if you don't believe, man. All right, if you don't believe, so be it, man. All right, Romans 3 and 3, man, it's not going to make the, the, the prophecies without effect, man. All right, it's still going to come to pass, man. Says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, man. So hey, you just gonna perish, man. All right. If you don't believe that it's gonna happen, man. All right. The Lord is just gonna have to show your ass the hard way, man. All right. Majority of our people are gonna have to learn after death by pain, man. So it says, Behold, said Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, man. And all these things are gonna be going on. All right. And before the Lord even cracks the clouds, man. All right. Before that, before that great chariot that every eye is gonna see, man. All right, hey, all hell is gonna already get, already gonna be breaking loose, man. All right, before our Lord even comes back, man, because He's gonna bring plagues and judgments upon this place, man. All right, to show you people His power, man. All right, because hey, no, hey, these people are no longer gonna be talking about Exodus, uh, uh, you know, the the first time we left Egypt, man. All right, but the second time we left Egypt, man. All right, that's gonna be spoken of, man, because it's gonna be so great, man. All right, hey, every eye is gonna see it, man. No, hey, everyone is gonna feel when Yahweh Shemal Shai comes back, man. All right. When the Lord starts to bring his judgments on the earth, man, everyone is going to know that, it, that it's a higher power doing this, man. So it says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, said Yahweh, I will I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. All right, man, the same way in, 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 in uh, the time of uh, Noah, man. All right. And that's why Yahweh said that in Matthew 24, man. All right. Because hey, hey, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. All right, there's nothing but wickedness going on right now, man. All right, you got trans uh, transgenderism going on, man, like crazy, man. All right, sodomites just running left and right, man, doing whatever the hell they want to do, man, promoting it to your children, man. All right, it's nothing but folly going on, man. All right, women being whores, man, on a mass scale. We don't even have to talk about that, man. All right, everyone know, hey, 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 man, if you're selling your body on the internet, man, all right, selling your body, period, man, you are a whore, man. All right, you're a prostitute, man, point blank, period, man. All right, and that's exactly what we have right now in today's society, man. And that's a sin and abomination before you how about Shemal Shah, man. All right. So, hey, man, all these people are about to receive their judgments, man. All right. Especially those that, hey, hey you want to trust in your riches, man. All right, you want to trust in this world, man. Hey, hey you're going to be forsaken, man. All right. Hey, you're going to be brought to naught, man. All right. Hey, all these people will be confounded, man. So it says, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the of the just complain continually. All right, man. Hey, that's that uh, Ezekiel. No, I'm gonna grab it, man, because hey, we're we're complaining continually, man. All right. Hey, the Lord is no longer gonna hold his tongue, man. All right. Hey, he's gonna bring no judgment forth, man. All right, upon these people, man, that don't trust in him. He want to trust in this world, man. So, hey, this is Ezekiel chapter nine and four it says, and Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. Hey, Amen. The prophets are signing crying, man. All right, daily, man. All right, hey, 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 just like uh, just a lot, man. 
All right, vets with the filthy conversations of the wicked, man. All right, hey, hey, the way these people carry themselves, man, the way these people speak of the wickedness that they do, man, and so much pride, man, we hate that shit, man. All right, hey, it's abomination before us, man. These people are abominable before us, man. All right, Proverbs uh, 29 and 27, man, you know, but hey, we're going to continue to trust in the Lord, man. All right, all these people are going to receive their death, man. <laughs> They're going to receive their judgments, man. All right, it says that, hey, hey, damn, I forgot where it said. Uh, I believe it's in the book of Proverbs, but hey, it said that they're, they're, that the um the 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 wicked, all right, they're not gonna they're they're not gonna take place in our judgment, man. All right, they're gonna they're gonna get their own separate judgment. They're gonna they're gonna perish, man. You know, but hey, no, uh, let me see. I think it's Proverbs one. No, it's like it. Psalms one. Yup. So this is Psalms one and verse uh, Psalms one and four. It says the ungodly are not so. But are like as but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. So hey man, all these people are gonna be destroyed, man. All right, you're gonna be beaten to powder, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, just like it says, the Lord is gonna turn us to a, a sharp threshing instrument, man. All right, we're gonna beat down these governments, man. All right, beat down these mountains, man. You know? So hey man, hey, these people are gonna be included with that, man. Cause hey, these people are, are, are with this world, man. All right, they're gonna be turned to shaft, man. And it says, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. All right, man, they're not gonna stand the congregation of the righteous, man. All right, these people are gonna get these people are gonna get a judgment unto death, man. All right, wait, the righteous are gonna get mercy, man. It says for Yahweh knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. All right, man. So hey, the, the way of the ungodly, man, you're gonna get judgments, man. All right, hey, what, what, whatever, whatever judgment the Lord wants to bring upon you, man. Whatever death the Lord wants to bring upon you, man. All right, hey, hey, it's going to come upon you, man. You will not be able to escape it, man. All right, like it says in Jeremiah the 11th chapter, man. So, hey, all these people are going to receive their judgments, man, from Yahweh Shem al man. All right? Hey, we're going to continue to trust in the Lord, man, and forsake this world. Continue to cry to Yahweh Shem al man. So, this is Ezekiel 9 and 4. It says, And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go, go ye after, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eye spare, neither have ye pity. All right, man. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. All right, man. Cause they a lot of a lot of these people, man. They what? What about the kids and little children and women? All right, man. And hey, hey, include a woman worshiping ass niggas, man. All right, hey, hey, including your woman, man. All right, if she's not right, man. All right, she's not serving the Lord, man. All right, hey, 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 it doesn't matter, man. All these people are gonna get the judges, man. All right, hey, hey, these women are wicked as hell, man. All right, get get get, get me locked up, get me and put on child support, man. All right, be whores, man. All right, a hey, hey, cause the land to fall into to wickedness, man. Hey, adulterous, hey, very, very, very adulterous, man. All right, <laughs> so hey, the Lord is about to bring bring His judgments upon all these people, man. All right, no one escapes the hands of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. No one escapes judgment, man. If you're wicked, man, you're wicked and you're gonna die, man. All right, hey, if you do wickedness, if you do sin, man, there are consequences behind it, man. You gotta pay for it, man. This is Romans 6 and 23. It says, for the wages of sin is death. All right, man. For the wages of sin is death, man. All right. So if you're a sinner, man, all right, what, re what reward are you going to get, man? You're going to get death, man. All right. Have a way it's going to come, man. All right. Have a way it's going to come. The Lord is going to bring it upon you, man. So it says, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, our Lord. All right, man. So the elect. All right, they're trusting in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. All right, they're trusting in, 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 in uh, Yahweh Shah, man. Wherever life, wherever lasting life resides, man. All right, that's what we're trusting in, man. All right, but that's a gift from Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, which these people were not given, man. All right, they weren't given uh, uh, faith, man. You know, which, hey, that's why they trust in this world, man. So it says, but uh, Ezekiel 9 and 6, it says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at, at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. All right, man. So, hey, don't come near any man that has that mark, man. All right, that mark of exemption, man. You know, and, hey, that, that's, that's, what, that's what the elect is looking forward to, man. All right, hey, with all these people, all hell, all this hell going on, man. We're looking forward to that Psalms 91, man. All right, no evil touching us, man. All right, all these people falling left and right before us, man. All right, but, hey, no, no evil coming near us, man. You know, and hey, that's what's coming to those that trust in Yahweh Bashem al Shah, man. Those that forsake this world, man. Those that don't trust in these riches in this world, man. All right? Because it's not, it's not going to save you, man. So, hey, 
1 Timothy 6 and 17. Yep, 1 Timothy 6 and 17, it says, charge them that are, that are rich in this world, all right, man, urge you, man, all right, charge you, man, all right, telling you, hey, man, hey, 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 forsake this world, man, all right, flee from this world, man, all right, it says that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power, which give it us rich, in, but uh, with, who give it us richly all things to enjoy, all right, man, because, hey, man, our people, they're, 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 there's so much in their flesh, man, that they're unsatiable, man. All right, they want more, they want more, they want more, man. All right? That's all they, they, that's all they think about is money, man. Chasing the bag, man. All right, getting richer, man. Thinking that's going to help you. Thinking that's going to help you, man. All right, but hey, the, the uh, Apostle uh, Gabar just went a couple, I think, last month. All right, a couple weeks ago, just went into the Black Wall Street, man. All right, and hey, did that help you, man? All right, no, because Esau Edom controls this world, man. The Lord gave this world over to Esau Edom, man. All right, and the only way to defeat that, man, is to trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shad, man. All right, forsake this world, man. Your riches will not save you, man. Your riches cannot help you, man. That's why we're, we're, we're urging you so hard, man. All right, to serve the Lord, man. Trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shad, man. All right, because, hey, what is to come, man, is nothing but death, man. All right, nothing but death, man, to those that don't trust in the Lord, man. All right, the Lord is about to bring all of your, your, your worst, uh, uh, nightmares upon you, man. And it says that they do good, that they be rich and good works, ready to dispute, uh, willing to co to uh, communicate, laying up, laying up and store for themselves a good fortune ag against the time to come that they may, but that they may lay hold on eternal life. And amen. Only the elect is going to forsake this world, man. Two thirds of our people, man, you will not obtain this, man. All right. Only the elect have, have obtained this, man. Only the elect have the understanding and fear of Yahweh Bashem al Shad, man. All right? Hey, hey, this is shooting. This message is shooting out to those that, 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 that are thinking in that mindset to chase the bag, man. All right? But, hey, hey, you, hey, you, you truly searching for righteousness, man. All right? If you truly searching for righteousness, man, all right? It's time to get right, man. All right? It's time to repent, man. All right? Because chasing that bag, man, it's not going to help you, man. All right? Because, hey, man, hey, hey, the times that are to come, man, all right? It's nothing but death, man. All right, nothing but but mourning and calamities, man. It says, O Timothy, you know, yeah, that's a point. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna no. I'm I'm gonna end on this Matthew six. Matthew six and nineteen. It says, Lay not up for yourselves riches upon earth. All right, man. All right, hey, 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 hey. Our riches are, are supposed to be in the heavens, man. We how about Shemal Shah, man? All right, hey, Colossians three, man. All right, our minds are supposed to be here with a Mashiach, man, in the heavens, man. Not in this world, man. Not chasing the bag, man. Not wanting to get rich. All right, because, hey, this is what's going to happen, man. It says, where moth and rust, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, all right, man? Because, hey, man, all this money is going to be brought tonight, man. All this money is not going to mean anything, man, all right? Because, hey, at the end of the day, man, the Lord can have someone just take that all away from you, man. All right, Esau Edom can just come inside your bank account, man, all right? Put some BS there, man, all right? Take all of your money, man, if you truly wanted to, you know? Hey, hey, niggas can come and come up in your house, man. All right, take your money. All right, I just seen a video up on uh, Facebook, man. All right, this dude, he was counting money inside his car. All right, and then uh, two guys had spotted him, man. All right, and they rolled, they rolled up on him, man, and stuck him up, man. Took his money away from him, man. All right, <laughs> and what was he doing? Crying like a little, uh, a little bee, man. You know, crying, man. You know. And hey, man, hey, hey, if you trust in your heart by Shemal Shah, man, you was wisdom, man. You wouldn't have to worry about any of that, man. All right, but two thirds of our people, man, they trust in this world, man. They trust in their riches, man, and it's all it's all gonna lead them to death, man. So it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right, man, because hey, these thieves, uh, hey, 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 you you can't get inside the heavens, man. All right, you can't take what's inside the heavens, man. All right, we we're laying up our treasures in the heavens, man. We're forsaking this world, man. All right, and trusting in Yahweh Shemal Shah, trusting in what's inside the heavens, waiting for us, man. So it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right, man. So where's your heart at, man? All right. Is your heart inside this world, man? All right. What the Lord is going to destroy, man? All right. Where's your heart in eternal life, man? The heavens, man. Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. All right. Pick, man. All right. Pick. All right. Are you either going to serve the Lord, man, or perish, man? It's only two decisions, man. Ain't no, ain't no in between, man. All right. Hey, it's only two decisions, man. All right. Being wickedness, being wicked, or being righteous, man. All right. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the honest high elders and apostles of great meals on the doer well, and salutations and blessings to Akin that's pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.